Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. I made a blog, which I should have just deleted half of it. I, I divided it into two parts. I needed to remove part two because obviously I was heartbroken when I wrote this. It no longer serves because I am completely over it, completely over it, and I don't care that this person hurt me badly. I am over it. I don't care that they did this to me. I actually forgot I wrote this post, um, therefore I needed to actually remove it, but to be honest, I needed to keep part one. The full video is unlisted. Therefore, I needed to make a new video for the public. So, what am I talking about? To say, do not attach to someone who you vibe with is flat out silly, crazy, and a bit shallow. I will skip to the kicker. I disagree with this person that told me, do not attach to someone because of 11-11-11, the energy steps, portals, extension. Why? I disagree with this person and think they are silly to even approach me with this. Why? They were warning me that they were going to block me. After saying we were a tribe, that they were family, that they met me or knew me in a previous past life. They were warning me because what happened? They blocked me after what they warned me that after they warned me, saying, do not attach to people because they will, because anything can happen at any given moment. And then they block me shortly after saying that to me. For me, what I, what my response is, it is nearly impossible not to attach yourself to a person you vibe with. It just comes naturally. Therefore, why people get into your heart only to tell you down, I have no freaking idea. And if this happened to you, I am deeply sorry that you met a person who entered your life only to break your heart. I am very deeply sorry that that happened to you. And that goes to the public, me saying it is impossible for me to not attach to a person that I vibe with, that I click with. Th nothing... Okay, let me continue the the part. I should have just rewrote this. So I apologize that this is out of order. I knew that... No. Um... Obviously, this person lied to me about being my tribe, about knowing me in a previous life, because they blocked me right after they said it. In theory, I believe this person was warning me of them going to block me. Actions speak louder than words. Energy speaks the loudest. I felt her energy and everything that I felt said we were tribe. I was deeply mistaken. In the end, she stabbed me in my back and deleted our friendship.
and I will go into more detail. Nothing told me she was the enemy. Nothing was a red flag until she blocked me after warning me that people can come and go in your life at any given moment. She chose to leave me after saying that and I felt betrayed. I felt heartbroken. Looking back, yeah, she, she did warn me that she was going to block me. I did not listen because nothing told me that she was the enemy. I felt her energy. It was warm, a kindred spirit. I felt like I knew her from a past life. However, she got into my heart only to destroy it, to make me heartbroken. Why? I am still perplexed that this even happened to me. The moral of the story that I can see is me. I cannot, I can never not attach myself to a person I vibe with. It comes naturally. However, I do know people will come and go in your life all the time. There is nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do is try making new friends after you were heartbroken, after people left your life. Always try over and over and over again. And that is power. That is courage. I apologize for this mix. Uh, the conversation, the video is out of order. I apologize for that. I needed to rewrite the blog. However, I did not. And I should have rewrote it to make it in order. Uh, to make so hopefully this video makes sense i apologize that if it did not if it did not let me know so i can make uh, correct the confusion to make the video in order i hope that it does make sense if it does not i apologize and i can make a new one until we meet again my friends